and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to be a quick video about the Mockingbird carriage. If you are new to my channel, I have an almost three-year-old as well as a six and a half month old baby. And I purchased the Mockingbird a little bit before my baby girl was born in November. If you are looking for a detailed unboxing video or information about what I think of the single to double stroller as a whole, I will make sure to link both of those videos below. My daughter recently outgrew the carriage though, so this video is going to be specifically my thoughts on the carriage and whether or not I believe it's worth purchasing. I truly don't believe anything is perfect. You can always find something wrong with things. I feel the pros outweigh the cons on this carriage, but after you hear what I have to say, make sure to let me know in the comments what your own thoughts are. Also, if you have any questions, make sure to leave those in the comments. I try to get back to people as soon as I can. As I said, my daughter has outgrown the Mockingbird carriage at six and a half months. She can fit in it, but she is reaching each end if I put her in it. So we have moved her into the regular seat. I think it was time anyway, even if she didn't get too long for the carriage, because she wants to sit up. I guess the biggest con for some people would be the fact that you can't just use it all the time. Now, obviously something like this, your child is going to outgrow over time. But for some people, that's enough of a con to not pay the $100 that it costs to get this carriage. So understandably for some, cost is the biggest deterrent when it comes to buying the carriage. Mockingbird offers an infant seat insert that can just go in the regular seat and that will allow your infant to safely sit in the regular stroller seat for only $30. Another thing that some would see as a con would just be the size and weight of the carriage. Now, I am only five feet tall, but you can see compared to me how big this thing is. If you were using it as a single stroller, this might not seem like that big of a deal, but if you're using it as a double stroller, this is additional weight. This weighs a little more than eight and a half pounds, so it's kind of like using a car seat or something like that. If you're choosing a stroller and you're comparing all of the different brands and what they have to offer, then another thing that some might see as a con would be that the Mockingbird carriage is not safe for overnight sleep or unsupervised sleep in any way. The last con that I want to mention is in regard to the canopy. I absolutely love this canopy. It would be nice if it extended a little bit further because there are times that I didn't actually want to use the sunshade, which if you didn't see my previous video, it does come with a sunshade. That is not something that you have to purchase separately, which I love, but I didn't always want to use the sunshade. And if this just extended a little bit more, I would have been able to easily see my baby and still shade her. I did want to mention real quick that I liked to put a blanket on the inside of this. It doesn't come with pattern prints or anything like that. Again, if you didn't see my unboxing, make sure to check out that video. But the bumblebee print on this is just a blanket that I put in. All right, so now on to the things that I absolutely love about the Mockingbird carriage. The first thing for me is honestly the price. I know that's a con for some, but for me, I think you get so much for that price. The carriage is incredibly well made. And though I did buy the car seat adapter so that we could put our car seat in the stroller and make things easier, I probably used the car seat two times because I loved the carriage that much. It was worth taking my daughter out of her car seat and putting her in the carriage whenever we went anywhere because it was a nice flat surface for her to lay on. It looks absolutely beautiful. And I just found it to be overall very functional. Something you will not actually see in my previous Mockingbird videos because I recorded them in cooler weather is that this zipper in the back is amazing if you have your toddler. Similar to the canopy on the toddler seat, the canopy on the carriage actually unzips. With it unzipped and lifted up, it not only allows more airflow, if your toddler is sitting on the other side in the regular seat, you can actually see both your babies at the same time. In the winter when I wasn't using that feature, I could see my toddler over the carriage or around the carriage, but I really appreciated once the warmer weather came that I could see right through the carriage and see both of them at the same time. I mentioned that the carriage allows for a safe place for my baby to be flat, and that's why I really didn't use the car seat adapter very often. I preferred for Emmy to lay flat and she absolutely loved it. The top of the canopy in the carriage has that high contrast design and she really just loved staring at it. That was something that she really enjoyed. When I was purchasing the carriage, that wasn't even something I was thinking of, but she loved staring up at the pattern in the top of it. I mentioned that the carriage does come with a sunshade. I think it's great that all of the seats come with a sunshade. I ordered the single to double stroller, so it came with the sunshade for the seat. I ordered the second seat kit, 
So that came with a sunshade for that seat. And then I ordered the bassinet as well and that came with its own sunshade. We relied on the sunshade for this carriage so much, so I really appreciate that it wasn't an extra thing that I had to purchase. The last thing that I wanna mention that I love about the carriage is the fact that I can take it out of the stroller and it's a safe spot for Emmy to be in without me keeping her in the stroller. This was incredibly helpful for going on a walk with my toddler and deciding to have a picnic or a snack somewhere and I could just take the carriage out of the stroller, lay it in the grass, and she could be sitting there right with us at our level. It didn't require me getting up and looking into the stroller and checking on her or anything like that. And she was able to see us the whole time, so it kept her happier. It also came in handy because I live in a townhome with a significant amount of stairs. To get from our main living area to the foyer, it's a set of stairs. And then to get from our foyer to the outside, it's another set of stairs. So it was incredibly convenient to be able to get Emmy set up all inside, have her nice and cozy in the carriage, and then just carry the carriage out to the stroller that I already had set up and waiting for us. Again, Emmy was born in November, so that was really helpful in those cold months because obviously I'm not carrying the entire stroller down a flight of stairs. I feel like the pros far outweigh the cons, and when I think of how much use we got out of the carriage with the stroller and outside of the stroller, I definitely think that it was completely worth the cost. I will have Mockingbird's website linked below if you wanna check it out and see all of the different options that they have to offer when it comes to customizing a stroller. I also will make sure to link below my video of my unboxing and first impression of the Mockingbird single to double stroller as well as my update of what I thought of it after using it for a few months. If you can't already tell, I absolutely love this stroller. I think it is a great buy and I think you get a lot for the price. Again, if you are not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.